Hey, what's up guys? Today we have weekly poll number seven. Sorry again that it's late. I've been a little behind on these ones, but this week's question was, what is the best advice you have for new cubers? Or if you're a beginner cuber, what's the best advice that you've been given? So a few weeks ago, I did the worst advice, so I thought I would switch it up and do good advice. So before we get started, if you're wondering what you're watching in the background, it is actually my new PB average of 12, which is 10, 13, and there's my PB average of 5 in there, which is 8, 89, which I'm really happy about because I've never gotten a sub 9 average, but I'm not sure if I should count it because this is a new timer and when Sean and I were racing each other earlier, because they do have that option, they were giving us awfully easy scrambles, so I'll decide later on if I'll count it. But yeah, getting right into the actual question, the first comment that I see, and the first comment on this photo actually, said that they find that practicing multiple events keeps the interest up in cubing, and they recommend you do that as well. And I think that's great advice because I do feel like if you practice only one event for a very long time, it could get boring. So to keep your interest up, try new things. Maybe try non-WCA. I'm not a huge fan, but I keep my interest up by tr practicing all the events. So the next one I see, and I think it's a great point, is never think that you're too slow to go to a tournament or competition. That is probably the best advice. I know tons of beginner cubers who are like, I'm too slow, I only average a minute and a half, I can't go to a competition. I'm like, no, we've all been there, nobody's going to make fun of you, because we all were averaging one minute and 30 seconds, or whatever you average at some point, no one's going to make fun of you. Just go have fun, the sooner you get into it, the sooner you're enjoy all of the fun that competitions are. So Kim says, I think the best advice for new cubers is to be patient. You won't learn everything immediately and you won't become world class instantly. So take your time with learning things properly and don't rush things. See, that's a great, great point. You're not going to be instantly sub 10. You've got to practice. You've got to learn new things and don't rush yourself into that. It's really not necessary. This advice says, don't cram a ton of algorithms in your head at once. Always try to go step by step slowly until you get the hang of each one. See, a mistake a lot of people make is they try to learn so many algs at once and then it becomes overwhelming because they have all these algs and they get them mixed up. Honestly, take your time with learning them, but don't procrastinate too much like I did and took like two and a half years to learn all of OLL. So this comment really I enjoy reading because it says, the best advice that they could give is to not be afraid to approach new people. See, a lot of people think that if someone's faster than you, oh, like I shouldn't talk to them, I should just stare at them from a distance. If you have a question, go and ask them. And if they're mean to you, then clearly they are not a very nice person and you have better people to be talking to. But most people in my experience have been very, very nice. Unfortunately, that's all I have time for this week. If you're interested in reading all the other advice, you can check out my Instagram. There's around 80 comments, and my Instagram is just keep cubing. Also, be sure to look out for next week's poll. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.